Welcome to BLT. I'm your host Beth. What's good, everybody? My name is Goose. Today we're joined by a new friend, Cass. Yay. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> All right. So today, what article do we have, Beth? So this happened last Sunday, it uh, on 23rd of August, 2020. So a little mm-hmm. girl, Are around you? four or five, she was mm-hmm. on a inflate an inflatable unicorn. And she drifted off half a mile away from the town. Half a mile from the coast. Where about is this? Uh, this happened in Greek. Jesus. Oh, that's why they make yogurt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I know. That's how you remember Greek. it on the map, right? <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna so watch what's the up? video. Well, how did it drift away? Oh, there's yeah. a video. Okay. Yeah. No, she was just on. Like they were on the beach with her parents. And oh, then she was oh, on the inflatable unicorn, and you know, I guess the wind or something blew her away. And oh, then the you'll rapids. See it. Oh, the rapids. 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 Did they get her out? Or are they just watching? <laughs> Me too. So, this is the ferry that they're trying to rescue her with. That's a pretty nice unicorn, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I'm gonna skip to the part where they. Dude, she must be tired, though. I don't know how long she's gone. You might be having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll be terrified if I was on the crew. I would have had motion sickness. I think I would be scared if I was in a room. Holy shit. Does the parent know? Or are you just like sunbathing and. <laughs> and that guy's grabbing that kid like a fish. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. And you know, one of the comments. The one of the comments is funny. One of the comments actually said. Not going to lie, there have been several times during the home quarantine that I have thought about putting my kids on inflatable unicorns <laughs> and dropping them Jesus. about mile out to sea. <laughs> she looks, she looks absolutely fine. Like, hey, I'm still having fun. Yeah, she's just yeah. chilling. She's just chilling on the unicorn. So what happened yeah, was that the parents saw that she actually floated away and they couldn't get to her. So they called oh. the ferry. They, they called the crew. Oh, yeah, okay. Authorities. That's quite smart. Yeah. And yeah. they had to get a ferry out to get to the girl. Then they yeah. had the speedboats with like those yeah. uh, police cops. Yeah. Coast Guard? Co- yeah, Coast, Coast Guard. Yeah. Oh, I guess they didn't have them. I don't know. Or lifeguards, you know? Yeah, they said they called the port authorities and a ferry named Salamino Machos was called yes. to pick the child up. That's, that's, such a, that's an epic name. <laughs> I don't get people it. Probably call, people probably call him Salam. Salami. <laughs> salami oh. Machos. <laughs> wow. I would like to go and ride on Salami Macho. <laughs> that's Jesus. Yeah, I wonder if no, but like, together. Wouldn't you freak out though? Like, if, okay, if, yeah, if I had a daughter and she just started drifting off, holy shit, I wouldn't know what to do. I would have tried to swim. I would yeah. have tried, tried at least to make an effort. But, in, they, you know, they might have just seen it gone off and went like, you know what? Wait, hold on. Babe, you still got that number, right? Ah, right, cool. Let's just relax. <laughs> <laughs> They'll find her. They'll find her. Wait, are they even on the crew, though? Or are they just swimming at the coast? No, they were they were on the beach, yeah. Oh, dude. What the hell? I mean, as a parent, I would have gone with them. Yeah, someone definitely gave him a leaf flow of the ferry. <laughs> I would have been scared. Because like, throw the kid away. <laughs> I would have scared. Uh, no, if it was my kid, I'd be terrified. I would try to... I would, I would turn into Aquaman. And I would then, literally swim. <laughs> If I was the kid, I'll be having a time of my life. I'm like, damn. Yeah, yeah, of course. If independence. You watch, <laughs> uh, if you watch Little Mermaid, then yeah, you're going to be fine. You're going to be like, you know what? I already know how to survive this. Yeah, what? dude, I just got to meet a crab. Got to get some so, voices. Got to sing with them. We're all good. She'd be dead by then. She's singing with a crab. crab. Yeah, how old is she? Uh, four or five. Oh, uh, wow. It's, okay. it's, like, it's like a new movie, Home Alone on Sea. Yeah, maybe True. she wouldn't I'll be afraid it. then. I mean, like around four or five. I don't think I even have. To no, worry. no, you wouldn't have. You could I run mean, into you could run into a wall. 
and you start laughing. No, actually, I'm surprised that she stayed on the floaty thing. Usually, kids kind of wiggle around and you know. Yeah. Not that I hope that she fell in, but you know, they usually do. Yeah, yeah that's surprising. Shoot. I would have thought that mm. she would be like, "Mommy, no!" and then just like jump off. Yeah, she didn't even cry. She was just chilling. <laughs> I feel like she kind. Of, I feel a part of her really wanted to drift off. <laughs> I feel her. I feel her. Yeah. It's gonna be a story to tell in Christmas. Imagine that. Oh, so, they... yeah. <laughs> no, Imagine I'm just what... thinking. What, what kind of story would you tell your like kids when you were five or four? You drifted off. <laughs> Dude, I can imagine like when he's a teenager, the mom be like, "I should realize you drifted away when you were four. Oh, oh yeah, my gosh. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, a good thing definitely. to bring up. So after, and she's gonna be like, "I wish you did." <laughs> so before, um, like twelve. Almost 12 days before this happened, a six-year-old boy actually also drifted out to sea <laughs> on an oh, inflatable dude. swan. D okay, I think is this some kind of new thing, like a TikTok trend that I don't know about? <laughs> Sounds like it. Because so like a lot of people have been drifting away. Wasn't there like a, a famous actress that drifted away and never came back? What there was? It was like I think this is. A uh, famous actress with her son or daughter went on the boat, drifted away, then the mom popped into the sea and never came out. What? Something like that. that. Wow, that's sad. Yeah, well, that's just called abandonment. <laughs> I think she's dead. <laughs> oh no, that's sad. Yeah. And then there was a famous wrestler too. Um, his son drifted away in like school. What is away. going on? He went in to save his son. That's uh, yeah. And then he died. Yeah, some I've, I've heard about stuff like that. That's the only one thing. If I would try to, it depends on the current. Because when I was looking at that picture, the current looked kind of smooth. It looked okay. That's why I would rather swim. But if the current is really rapid and stuff, if you go in, you know, I mean, there's either two lives or one life. It's it's a big thing. Except these guys look like they they got a helicopter and a car. <laughs> yeah, they're ready. Yeah, same. I, I mean, it's, I it's pretty scary though. I wouldn't just jump into the water. If I think like someone else is drowning, there must be a reason why they can't swim properly. Mm, mm, mm. No, point? like, mm. I can swim, but I'm still scared of the ocean. Yeah, same. I'm scared of sharks. <laughs> that shit's huge. Uh, you don't get yeah, sharks a lot, like, especially near the coast, right? I mean, sharks I watch, are I, I, watch, I watch a lot of, like, shark movies. So I think, maybe, yeah, Jaws probably scared me as a kid. So yeah, if something exactly. touched me in the feet, like seaweed, I would I would panic. I'd be, ah. Dude, it was a mechanical shark, and uh, still believed it. Like watching it bad, you could tell how fake it was. But damn, that's yeah. super vague. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Really yeah, any of it. I mean, I think when you're an adult, you're just like, <laughs> what the hell is this? Yeah, but now I guarantee, if you saw a shark, you'd, you'd, you'd probably oh, swim damn. faster than you swim today. Yeah. I love how the survival guides are like, oh, if you see a shark, don't swim away. Face them and poke them in the eye. I'm like, no. Yeah, you, you do that, buddy. Like, cool. I'm like, running. I'm running an anime. <laughs> Jesus. Yes. Yeah. I'm running. Yeah, but they don't attack humans, though. Like the facts are, yeah, they don't do it on purpose. I mean, would you like to stick around and find out? <laughs> yeah, it could have had a really bad day. <laughs> yeah, it could have tough day at work. You never know, man. Yeah. It could have been a lockdown. Exactly. Shark has lives. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> piranha 3D. Yeah, Piranha freaked me out too. Oh, Piranhas are okay. I like Piranhas. I, I was gonna watch that, that the movie, watch that movie. yeah, but everyone said it sucked. Like, how could Piranhas really like, was. jump really up bad. and kill everyone? It was no, it's because they, re they evolved. They evolved. These Piranhas evolved into some next species. Oh, yeah. I thought it was just like the normal Piranhas. No, no, I think they had legs. Oh. <laughs> no, that's freaky. That's just... So they're like... Piranha on land and Piranha in water. So is it like cockroach legs? Dude, I don't even remember. I, I, think they got, I, think, I think they got feet. I don't remember. I'm, oh. I'm probably making half of this up. <laughs> Think of that. <laughs> Thinking of a piranha with legs. I don't know. Just making a new film altogether. Imagine that would be quite funny. So what happened after it? Like, mm. she just rescued and that was it? Yeah, so for this one that happened on uh, close to 8th of August, uh, a boy mm. who was like maybe five or six, Mm -hmm. He was on an inflatable swan, so he wasn't on like actually staying on the swan, which was actually more dangerous. And uh, a builder. Oh, she actually, he actually went, fell off, like yeah, into the water. Yeah, yeah. So See, he, he was actually Jeez. drowning. And oh, shit, a okay. builder named Sam McKeeter 
Uh, he's, a, he's already 57. Basically, the whole news is just saying how strong this guy was. So, oh. he was like, sw he swam off. He was with his family. He, he has grandchildren. And yeah. he saw, like, the parents of the boy, like, shouting for help. So, he just yeah. dove into the sea and grabbed the boy. See, not all heroes wear capes. They wear shorts as well. Yeah. yeah. And this is what That's he incredible. said. He said to the reporter, um... I heard the boy's mom shout for help, and I just jumped in. The kid was in trouble, and I had to try to help. He was far away from shore, around 200 meters, and it took me a while to get to him. But luckily, I'm quite a strong swimmer. There was another person trying to help, but he couldn't do too much as he was so exhausted. The boy was face down and unconscious. I managed to turn oh him over and patted him on the back. Sick, and a lot of water came up, but at least he was breathing again. Hey, legend. Yeah. And a helicopter, the Royal Coast Guard, uh, came and they got a helicopter and sent the boy to hospital. He, he should have got, he should got an award. That's what he should have done. The guy should have got an award. And I really wanted to see the inflatable swan. Yeah, yeah. Wait, were, the swans are a helicopter and the fucking unicorn got a boat. That's it. <laughs> but unicorns, you know, some people don't think they exist. That's why they don't get much love. Wow, blasphemy. That's true. <laughs> but no, the only thing I don't get right. Is how, how big was his inflatable? Because I understand the unicorn was very big. True. So that's, I think maybe they can only sit on it kind of thing. Yeah, I think it'd be hard how for the kid? girl to get off. The how old was this kid? Five or huh? six. Uh, five, six, five, six, yeah, six. Oh, okay. Hmm. 200 meters, that's quite far. Yeah, half a mile as so. well. That's really, one person tried. But that means this guy can definitely do the marathon. Easily. <laughs> True. Easy. Swim, swim marathon. Easy. Yeah, he's a builder. 57. That's why he's so strong. Wait, 57 and he's swimming that far? That's quite good. I mean, if if, if my granddad could swim that far, that's because he's a granddad, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he is. So that's legendary. But 57. That is 50 something as well. That's a great Christmas party. <laughs> Hey guys, do that time. Yeah, that's right. When I say the six-year-old boy, half a mile on shore. <laughs> yes, he told us like hundred times now. Actually, it was two hundred meters, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> two hundred meters, yeah. Well, yeah. I don't really do, you know, it's hilarious. I don't really do swimming, but that yeah. day, God Tish told me to swim, and I did. And I just did it. <laughs> I could have been an Olympic, you know, athlete, but whatevs. <laughs> exactly. What he says, your dad is Aquaman. <laughs> oh my god. That's not creepy at all. That, that, that'd be dope though. That you watch so Aquaman good. with your friend. Nah, my granddad swam 200 meters off the shore to save someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what did your granddad do? <laughs> <laughs> my granddad let me float off on a unicorn. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so bad. Imagine they were. Um, that, you know, it would be so romantic. <laughs> they marry each other at the end. Like they, they're like 21, 21, they find each other randomly and they marry each other. Oh, you float away? Me too! Unicorn? <laughs> Swan! Oh, oh, my god. God. oh my god, yes. They're both magical creatures. <laughs> one's, one's protected. Well, for us, the swans are protected by the queen, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. So oh, for us, they're wow. like, they're like, so the swans belong to the queen. So they're royalty. True. So, and, and, and unicorns are royalty in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> so... Really? I never knew that. Depends on the Dungeon Master. <laughs> I, don't know. Trust, I, didn't know I just thought unicorns free. were cool. Yeah, they are. They are. Yeah. Do you still believe Loch Ness Monster is real, Beth? I do. I do. Ah. <laughs> yes, it could be a floaty. It's my favorite, favorite supernatural monster. Hey, if it's real, it's not supernatural, is it? Well, I don't know. Like, it's in between. It's, it's just, not yeah, supposed to exist. Natural thing. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's so true. The, I believe in Yeti. The Royal Coast Guard said that I wish people would leave the inflatables at home as they are designed for swimming pool, not for the sea. Mm. Yeah, but I think when I went yeah. to Krabi in Thailand, when you go to the sea, they have like little yeah, bubbles and ropes that covers off the area. Yeah, some yeah. seas have that. Yeah. I wonder why they don't have that in there. Yeah. Oh, didn't. you're saying like how like a f there's a certain distance where they put like a rope. Yeah, um, like a little barrier, like a floaty barrier. Yeah. That's probably because they had a lot of incidents where people were floating away. True, true. <laughs> I mean, I felt safe there. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so that was a good one. Join us next time for a new article. Uh, thanks, Cass, for joining us today. And Beth, do you have anything? No worries. Yay! <laughs>
stay safe. And don't float away. Yes. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>